Thank you, Richard Olweni. Now, we're all too familiar with the stereotype that single parents preside over broken homes that produce troubled children. And unless single mothers and fathers reject this popular prejudice, they are obviously in danger of doubting their adequacy and undercutting their confidence. And yet many of them are doing an amazing job as single parents. Now, joining me tonight is a successful businessman, an artist, and a single father who is doing an amazing job raising two girls aged 14 and 11. How does Isaac Rucci do it? Let's find out on Weekend Live Chat. Hi, Isaac. Hi. <laughs> You've been a single dad for about, what, 10 years now? Yes. 14 and 11, two beautiful girls, I must commend you for that. Yep. How has that been working for you, um, 10 years? I, by the grace of God. <laughs> but it, for me, it was a deliberate decision. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, you know, I don't have the option. I have to be a father and I have to be a good one at, at that, you know. Um, it was a decision. I said, you know what? It's a situation that I've got on my hands. Um, they, they didn't do nothing. So I said, you know, whatever it takes. And there was a lot of extra miles that I had to take for me to just to be where we are today. You're obviously very busy. Uh, How yeah. do you manage your schedule <laughs> and still have time for the girls and ensure that they don't miss out on what would technically be a normal life? Um, when I decided to come back from the diaspora, Tona was a year old and Keza was about three years and uh, uh, 2006, somewhere there. Uh, so when we came home, I was like, hey, how, do, how am I going to do this? I thought, let me take them to my parents so they can have fun with the judges. Mm -hmm. And I think I did a lot of back and forth. About two months into it, I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm bringing my kids to Uganda. Everyone in my family thought I was crazy. But it's, it was probably the best decision that I ever did. I came home. And, like I told you when we started, deliberately, I made a decision that 4, 4.30 every day, I have to be with the girls. I would pick them up from school, go home. I did that for about four years straight. Meaning and you I changed didn't take, diapers, Isaac. I, you actually oh, changed diapers. I, I, I joke with my <laughs> friends. I said if they ever had competitions, I would win. I am super dad, and I say that with no shame. I, it's, it's very braggadocious but i yes i am super dead i did very i mean I, if you put a you know but whatever that thing is called a tray i would like beat anyone at out, changing diapers out of curiosity what has been your greatest challenge <sighs> it's emotional stuff like when you know when they were little when we came back you know three in the morning i and i was blessed with a nanny from heaven three in the morning she would come and knock on the door with Tona and say, you know, and Tona is crying and saying, I want my mommy. Mm -hmm. I would be the father and the tough one. And oh, you know, then she's falling asleep. I step out and cry a tear out to myself. Yeah. That was hectic. That was hectic. But it, it was fun. It was also fun. The challenges were many, but the interesting parts of uh, being a father is just unbelievable. I, I, it's, it's the best job anyone can have is to be a father, you know, and my kids are great. I'm blessed. I mean, They're I, good I, kids. I mean, I can ironically say that I think being a single dad gives you an opportunity to be very present. Yes. Because you find at the times in which we live, yeah. they are fathers and mothers raising kids and the fathers are absent. But when there's no mother, you actually have no choice yeah. but to be there, <laughs> which, is, which yeah. is amazing. Which wasn't very hard for me because I was a very present father. Even though we traveled, this, this is when we were still with a group. I, um, I, made, I made a point that when, when we, we had our off times, I was, I was there because I didn't have a regular job. I went on tour and came home. If I'm on tour for three days, I'm home for four days. Mm -hmm. So I would be home for those four days and I would do all the chores that uh, a father that travels a bit does, you know. Now, kids are a curious lot. And of course, as they get bigger... They ask questions. Yeah, I have a teenager. I have to ask. This conversation about the absent mum. Yeah. That could not have been an easy conversation. Um, no, they're smart kids. 
and they hear things, you know, because we spend a lot of time with family. We, I, I come from a very big family, and um, we're very plugged in with, you know, all the holidays. We, I, you know, if I don't ship them off, I go with them. So they talk and they, you know, and they, they pick up stuff. Yeah, they pick up stuff. So they haven't I, had to no, ask no, that would questions. Me with stuff, and I was like, what? Who told you that? Who said that? You know, things that I'd never even, because um, when we were going through a hectic situation with my my uh, my ex, what I did is I thought. I have to protect them and I shielded them and oh she's you know she's still in the US she's planning to go to school she's doing this and then out of the blue Tona just one day said are you guys getting divorced I was like what who, what? who even told like, you that yeah I'm like how do you know that I think she was nine when she brought this up you know good cop bad cop how do you even do that how do you balance because um, normally they're supposed to be a good cop and a bad cop how yeah. do you balance <laughs> You know, girls, they know they have me wrapped around their finger. Oh, but they, they know, know that. <laughs> they know that, you know, when we do something that will piss him off, you know, he'll be off for a minute. I, and, and the little one knows that. She's a handful. She knows that very well. Keza is just, she's amazing. She's an angel. You know, she's a good kid, all-rounded. But Tona will push your buttons, get, get on your nerve and try you. She will try you, you know, like... With an attitude, she won't say it, but she's kind of like, what you going to do? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's very interesting. Yes. As we wrap this up, any parting shots for other fathers that are going into loan? It's work. You have to be ready and willing to work. It's work. It's, it's um, uh, you put in the work and you see the results. You know, you, you get to witness. The kids become physical evidence of the seeds that you're sowing. And this is what I'm enjoying. You know, we go places and people just keep saying, and I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. It's from, it's work. You have to put in the work. And that is what I've done. You know, it's, it's a deliberate, it's a decision that one makes. It's not going to happen just automatically. Thank you, Isaac, and thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thanks and for having all, me. And to all the single fathers who are actively present in their children's lives, kudos, and may you find the grace and the wisdom to continue walking this parenting journey alone. And like Isaac said, it is work. You must work at it every single day. Happy Father's Day. This is Weekend Live Chat. We will take another break.